In terms of creating the right brand experience for your customers. Now, B is for behavior. I want to give you some specific points that will help you to enhance your behavior and your brand for your premises. So I'm going to give you about six different points that will help you to enhance the experience. The second thing that will help you in your organization is go to, a uh, second piece of behavior I ask you to consider is go to a McDonald's restaurant. Uh, just out of curiosity, how many people here have been to a McDonald's restaurant in the last two years? By a show of hands. All right, uh, maybe 40% of the room, 50% of the room. McDonald's has done the most amazing job in the last five years in turning their business around. One of the reasons, though, why they have done a really good job in turning their business around is that because of this concept of clean restrooms and hot, fresh food. And there's a lesson behind the clean restrooms and hot, fresh food that I refer to as restroom marketing. And one of the reasons why McDonald's were able to turn themselves around is because the McDonald's CEO said, we're going to have clean restrooms and hot, fresh food. But what he basically was saying is that there are certain non-negotiables in our business that if we don't get right, our customers will boycott our premises. So M McDonald's, the non-negotiables for them, very similar to what yours are, clean restrooms and hot, fresh food. But what I would ask you to do is go to a McDonald's, a new one, and you, if you haven't been there to them, you'll be amazed at what they've done to the, their organization and their premises. But have a, an informal cup of coffee with a couple of your staff over there and discuss the changes that McDonald's have done. And then start trying to figure out what are your non-negotiables. What are the things that you absolutely have to get right in your organization? And if you don't get them right, people are going to boycott the business. And if you've got a list of four or five or six non-negotiables that you and everyone else in your organization know, and you're really stringent on making those things happen, you're going to have a much better organization. One of the reasons why Budweiser sales dropped last year is because there's more and more emphasis and demand for products and flavors with a bit of a kick in them. So you know all the way the craft beers are, are growing as well. But it's primarily because, not primarily, but one of the reasons is because the younger generation have been raised, reared on bold flavors and stronger coffees, and they're now looking for something better as well. So Budweiser, to an extent, is suffering as a result of that. But the point about McDonald's is they introduced better quality coffee. didn't cost them a lot to do. It helped them to grow their business. So the reason why I'm suggesting you go to McDonald's to help you change your behavior is, one, you'll be impressed the way they turn the business around. Two, it's kind of a different atmosphere and environment to what I was used to. And three, you will hopefully think about the non-negotiables. What are the things that if we don't get right, we will not have our customers coming back? The third thing can change your behavior, apart from visiting competition, visiting McDonald's. <laughs>